This video is going to be about my 255 one water bucket. This video is going to showcase what it does and how to use it and why it's built in certain ways, as you may see some things that are irregular compared to other cannons. I do have to state before I continue the video that this cannon I've built and tested on Crystal, but I can't promise it'll work on all the servers that are out there. Though I have tested this cannon on a server called Lemon Cloud. It's a faction server with both OP and normal factions. I've tested this on OP factions and it works just fine. One thing I do have to say is that this cannon does have double tap. It can double tap regens, though I don't know if it can double tap regens in the nether as well as it can do it in the overworld. This cannon is a 3 second 255, barrel stacks, flab bust, and it can pseudo nuke. It also has shot control for the people that need to use it, as this cannon does double tick its power. So, quick example is if you have 64 TNT in here, then the cannon will only shoot 32 times, as these dispensers get ticked twice. The first tick for shooting the sand, and the second tick for shooting the hammer. For the toggle blocks on this cannon, I'll run through all the toggle blocks here, but the toggle blocks are sandstone instead of the typical wool that you would see. This is mainly because this was made for Lemon Cloud. Sandstone on Lemon Cloud is one of the irregular blocks that you're able to print in printer mode. So this here enables double tap, which if you see the block here, I'll quickly explain it. If the block is here, the shot that comes in when this redstone gets ticked, will not shoot these dispensers. It will not tick these dispensers, which is the delayed hybrid for double tap to work. Though, on the second shot that you shoot, say you're button spamming, this stone will then be there for the second shot, thus allowing for this redstone signal to travel through and tick these dispensers. This is what makes this legal on Lemon Cloud, as this does only break one wall with one shot. And if you always want delay hybrid for some reason, then you always have this on. So this here is slab bust, it only has one. You can add more by adding dispensers here if you need it, but typically you do not. Right here is the one shot. This is a instant hybrid. So these dispensers here get ticked one redstone tick after hammer, which allows for an instant hybrid effect. So the sand stack does not push water backwards. This helps with certain servers and their water lava walls. So if you want to enable it, it's that toggle block there. And now for the small pseudo on this. So it's this block right here, right by this redstone torch, that will enable all these 11 dispensers, which does a pseudo effect at the wall. It's not meant to bust and actually make multiple holes in the wall, it's just meant to drop sand walls, so you don't have to fire it through multiple times saying you're countering a box and they have multiple sand walls and you have to adjust down or something. Though the instant hybrid does make a hole, this here drops the sand wall a lot more significantly while just adding a little bit to the cost. So don't expect this to nuke obsidian walls quite as well as it nukes sand walls. It does make holes in cobblestone walls though. This cannon uses one rev in order to barrel stack. Got controls down here if you ever want to use it. Say you only need to fire like 50 times or say you fill cannon with 64 TNT. That means cannon can only fire 32 times if you don't want to blow up the cannon. You'd place 32 blocks or items in there and then you just fire away until there's no more items in there and then you would refill if you need to. That's why I like using shot control and the reason why I put it on this cannon. Other than that, the exposure is a base 6 air guider. Though this exposure doesn't get as much range as a daylight sensor would, its Y value is a lot better than what a daylight sensor is, allowing you for extra height as for a counter cannon, you may want that. And especially for this cannon on Lemon Cloud with how its sand is set up and how the sand comp works. You want to build this cannon as low as possible. So when you're standing on button or a block equivalent to its Y level, you'll see that my Y level is 130. This is the lowest you can build cannon while having your barrel at 255. I want to state this because for Lemon Cloud, you want to build this as low as possible. The reason I say this is because Sandbots can't keep up with the sand comp. It cannot 3 second on the sand comp on Lemon Cloud consistently. Though this cannon does fire at 3 seconds, the Sandbots on Lemon Cloud just can't keep up with how fast this thing is firing. So, to give you an example of how you would want to do sand, you want to put the sand stack all the way up, all the way up to sky limit. You want to lower the sand stack by about three blocks. 
and you want to place bricks on top. The reason why I say bricks is because that's how sandbots operate. So for your sandbot placement, it takes three sandbots in order to actually fully load the comp. You put one there, one there, and one there. And then that'll get the entire comp. So in the title, it does state that this is a one water bucket, and that is true. You will see ice here, and that is where you place the one water bucket. If your server allows you to print ice, print it. It'll work the exact same as placing a water bucket. Though I should state on Lemon Cloud, you cannot place ice while in printer mode. So if you see missing one ice on the schematic, this is where it is. Other than that, everything on here is printable, except for the stairs. Just want to make sure you place the stairs at the very end, or if you have stairs on you, place them whenever. And another thing I do want to state is, usually there would be obsidian here, but I placed it with droppers. As other from dispensers, this is the only other immovable block you can place while in printer mode. This is simply to make it quickly to print without having to switch between printer and non-printer mode on Lemon Cloud. So if you see not as many droppers are placed, these don't have to be facing any particular way, they just have to be placed. So you could have a dropper facing this way, or you can even have it facing into the piston, it doesn't matter. Though for aesthetics, I made them all lined up nicely. And for the people that do play Lemon Cloud, you'll notice how much one shot I have here. This amount of one shot, which is about 36 dispensers, can one shot bedrock. So if they are patching with bedrock, you shouldn't have to worry. There's a chunk loader on this thing as I will be firing with its max float range and its maximum distance, which the maximum range on this cannon is about 1500 blocks going forward. That's about 93 chunks. The float range on this cannon is 186 blocks. Well, it has a Y float of about 120 blocks, which I already went over that before. This is at Y255, cannons at Y130. If you look in your schematic and you're trying to load it, this Y level here, you could just put 130 and it will be completely fine. It'll be able to float all the way up to 255 easily. And the float range, this is 186 blocks. This diamond block indicates the maximum float range of this cannon. If I were to try to float there, the cannon wouldn't be able to float that far. And I'll be firing at walls that are 1500 blocks this way. So, here we go. It's about 90 chunks. As you see, I'll be firing at one regen, which is an actual regen. As you can see it there, it doesn't break easily. And some basic cobblestone walls that go from usually where they would be to all the way down to bedrock with slabs on some of them until you reach the end, which have all slabs on them. The reason why this diamond block is here is to also indicate its maximum distance. If a block is placed here and you're trying to hit at it, it will not stack fully and it will not shoot properly. This is why this is to indicate its maximum range. It will hit this diamond block and stack fully then. The schematic in the description will automatically have stuff toggled on. So what's going to be toggled on is slab bust, pseudo, and instant hybrid. What this is going to allow you to do is to instantly print cannon, get the barrel set up, and then you'll be able to fire without having to worry if stuff is toggled on or off. Just simply look at your materials list, click there. If all redstone's place, you're good to fire and it should be able to nuke their wall and you should be able to counter pretty easily. So this schematic does not come with a lever placed on the button here. Buttons out in this corner here. There will be no lever on it as autos are not allowed in the majority of servers. So this will not have a lever. Though for the sake of the video, I will be putting a lever here for now. So if you ever do want to put a lever, putting it here will do no harm. To show that this cannon does not blow up while firing it, with only one water bucket being its water source, I'm going to get rid of the protection blocks. There are no protection blocks above it, and there are no protection blocks below it. Get the one water bucket, place it there, and this will water everything. As you can see in the top right corner of my screen, I am firing east on my minimap. And on my F3 screen in the top left corner, you can see that I am facing east. This can does shoot east-west on servers with east-west patch on. The direction on the cannon is indicated by this one piece of glass here. For the first wall, it's a regen, so a normal shot won't do anything to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to backstack here, 
So it's going to stack here, and it's just going to back stack as many times, and then it's going to bust the regen from the back. The other thing you can do is aim right here and have double tap on. It'll stack inside the regen at barrel height, and it's going to stack where the lava sources are in here. It's going to get rid of it. That's another way to do it. I'm just going to show you that it does back stack nicely on multiple shots. So I'm just going to calculate this quickly. So there's a one, two, three gap. So that means I'm going to need to put about six shots into cannon to do this nice and clean. For double tap to be on, you want to place a redstone right there and you want to place the block there. I'm going to need slab bust. Considering how I don't want the sand stack to be blown up before the second shot gets there, I'm going to remove pseudo. And I'm going to remove instant hybrid. This allows for double tap to work normally. I'm going to lever this so that you can button spam. It'll do the same thing. Now that that's all set up, I can start firing at walls. I have explosions turned off, but... There you go, people that like explosions. See double tap working nicely. Here comes the last shot. And regen's gone. Now for the rest of the shots, I'm gonna take off delay hybrid, go over, turn on instant hybrid, keep slab bust on, and turn on pseudo. This will allow the cannon to soothe the walls as you will see. Now for the rest of the walls, I'm just going to keep this on. As you see it does pseudo, gets a little bit of holes in there. And it does pseudo all the way down. It's just not rendering. As you can see. It does do 11 holes. There's only going to be three schematics in the description. There's going to be a cobblestone one, an obsidian one, and a stone one for people with their preferences. I would usually do a watered and non-watered version of the cannon to show where water needs to be. For this cannon, the watering is very simple to do, which is why I'm not going to include any watered versions of it. And that's about all I have to say for the cannon. Nothing really too complicated. If you liked the video, then click that like button, check out the rest of my channel. I post mainly about cannons, so if you want to see more, click that subscribe button, bell notification icon. To get notified when I post. It helps out both me and the channel, and shows support for the content I create. And like that, that's the end of the video.